to see you here again. Come on, kids, let's go. Let's go, come on. Oh, let's let's go go play. Play. We better run. Oh, thank you. You can pronounce my name wrong. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you actually went to World Expo 88. Wow, fantastic. One of one of the things that Peter Racy, who is here behind the camera, and is very involved in <coughs> keeping the legacy of Expo 88 alive, and today is one of those things. Peter asked me to talk a little bit about legacy as it applies to Expo, but also as it applies, uh, applies to other events. Um, Jason introduced me with some of the Olympic ceremonies I've done. In addition to those, I also worked on the Olympics in Italy, the Olympics in Beijing, and the Olympics in Rio de Janeiro, together with a World Expo in Shanghai, and uh, a Mexican bicentenary, and a few other odds and ends around the world, all of which have given me a chance to see what happens after these big events come to a city. And normally, there's very little left. For those of you who actually came to Expo 88, I'm sure you have very strong memories uh, and probably a lot of photographs, but it's very hard to explain that to people who weren't there. If you have visitors from overseas, and you want to tell them what it was like in Brisbane during those days of Expo, it's very hard if, if you don't have something tangible to show them, to let them know what it felt to actually be in Brisbane during Expo, which I've heard from many, many visitors over the years, was for them a defining moment in Brisbane. It was a, a time that they felt Brisbane had come alive. And for me, it's really interesting coming back now which is, what, 30, 32 years now since Expo, to see how Brisbane has changed in those, those years in between and how much it's changed since 1982 when I first came to Brisbane for the Commonwealth Games. And I remember in Brisbane in 82 driving to the stadium, it was then the QE2 stadium, on the day of the opening ceremony and there was nothing to see on the way to the stadium. And the day after the opening ceremony, there were flags everywhere. You've got no idea. Suddenly, it was as if Brisbane felt you know, proud of, of the ceremony. No one had been prepared to put up an, an Australian flag the day before. But after the ceremony, suddenly Brisbane was on the map. And that's what the great ceremonies and the great events around the world can do. But only if, if the legacy of the event is kept alive, because the memories, the photographs don't mean much one or two generations later. So it's very important just here in Caboolture to see an actual sign that was at Expo 88. And of course there are many other parts of Expo 88 that can't be here, but luckily we have, soon to be unveiled, one, one of the very important memories uh, that people took away from Expo. I think I'll have to leave it to Peter to explain the importance of the, the living sculptures that all of you who went to Expo would have seen. But again, for me, it's really important that you keep the memory of Expo alive by encouraging people to support the movement to keep the legacy of these events alive. And hopefully in, 1930, in 2032, uh, Brisbane will be the host of the Olympics here and that, again, will be another major, major opportunity for Brisbane on the world stage and for all you and all your kids and grandkids, an opportunity to re-establish a new set of memories, uh, a new set of photographs and a new set of leg legacies. So it's been a great privilege and an honour for me to have been involved with two of the, two of the great events that took place in Brisbane. And for me, it's a little nostalgic to uh, be here today to see the unveiling of these sculptures. Thank you, and I look forward to being here in 32. Thanks very much, Rick. Uh, I think the unveiling now. Peter. Yes. Yeah. Yes, uh, that's it. Yes. You're right on. Well, who's going to? Yes. Come on in. Oh, nothing good. Are you up for it? Okay. Oh, you've got it. Come on. 
Put the hands against the young guy. Oh, look at that! Oh, look at that! Very good! Oh, look at that. Have a look at this one, this one. Have a look, take a photo of this one. This one here, that was Frank when he was a youngster. We got Rick, 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 Frank.